G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Well, today is launch day, December launch day for my masterclass, our next project together. And as promised, I have created a realistic dog. I've gone for a beautiful little terrier. Now he's non-specific. I've sort of created him to be more of a border terrier, but it's a great pattern because you can really mix it up depending on the mohair that you use. Um, and you can trim it in a way that suits you. You can also make this one up in so many colors. I'm going to show him to you in a minute. His name is Bongo and uh, I think you're absolutely going to love him. Thank you everybody who has joined me in Masterclass. Next month is going to be a busy month because I'm going to be also dropping you a second pattern. It's going to be a commercial pattern that has all of the instructions that you can print out. That will also be in a doggo form. So it's gonna be a dog month next month. Also some demonstration videos. Um, we're gonna do some paw pad sculpting and so on. So if you haven't joined Masterclass and you think you might like to jump in on it, this particular month making bongo is really, really special to me but it, because it is how I made my mark in the industry. So uh, it, was, it was actually quite emotional for me uh, thinking about sharing uh, this pattern. So I hope you enjoy it. I do teach you a lot. And if any of you have aspirations of branding your work and creating your own style, this is the month to come and join because I'm going to take you all the way to the top because you I see a whole lot of talent out there so definitely come and join me so let's go and have a look at uh, my bongo so this is my bongo and this is a basic terrier so I have loosely trimmed mine to resemble a border terrier I live with border terrier most of you know little cheer um, a border terrier in full coat is quite hairy like this, quite unrecognisable to what they look like when they are stripped. Um, you will see Cheer in a minute and she is, she is very stripped so it's a totally different look. But this pattern is great because you can really customise it to suit, um, maybe you're making a little dog for somebody else and you can certainly make it look more like their dog by your face, by what you do with the face trim, I'll run you through all of that. You can even make this one up in an off-white or a cream. So many colour options. We do also have that beautiful little designer style harness coat and very tailored, really lovely in keeping with the beautiful mohair. Very, very simple to put together. It's a great little addition. So I've thoroughly enjoyed making him and I really think so many of you will too. He's much easier than he looks. And of course, I'm there with you every step of the way to show you all of these techniques with the sculpting, with these ears and all of this shading. So looking forward to seeing a lot more of you come over and join me in Masterclass. And this mohair in this kit that I'm about to give away is the same mohair that I've used here. So let's go ahead and see who's going to win this one. So thank you very much for joining me today and having a look, a sneaky peek at Bongo. I've got Cheer here. She's um, been terribly jealous of this little one. I've actually had to separate them, believe it or not, during the month. And there have been a couple of near misses where Cheer has taken off with a couple of his body parts, believe it or not. So it's really been quite funny. But anyway, I promised her she could make an appearance and show everybody this is what Border Terriers really do look like when they're very old and very lazy. Um, but look, it's been wonderful making this one up. I hope you've enjoyed seeing him. I certainly hope you're going to come over and enjoy making him with me. Um, and of course, all those links are down below there for you. Now, looking forward to the end of this week. Everybody on Pay It Forward. I've got a lovely little pattern coming up for you all. It's one of my all-time favourites and it's quick and easy. You might even get it done before Christmas for a couple of gifts. So look forward to that one. So she has deserted me and it's just you and me, Bongo. We can take it from here though. She's being a diva today, Cheer. Um, and that reminds me, I've got a, a few bloopers at the end of this video if you want to have a laugh. I promise they're all Cheer's fault. Never work with children or animals, they say. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so now we're ready for that big question to see who's going to win this mohair pack. And my question to you is, what is my favorite movie? So if you've watched all of my videos, you will know this one. It should go off really, really quick. 
So everybody look forward to here, right here on Pay It Forward, that pattern coming up in just a few days time. I'm really looking forward to that one. Everybody stay safe, keep on being creative and pay everything forward. Until next time, it is Huru from me. So I hope you have enjoyed making little Wonga with little, little, stop saying, little. It's been a great month for me and it's going to be a really busy month moving a full, move it, move it, apparently I don't speak English anymore. No, not kissing. I just say, and there have been a couple of close calls this month. Yes, well, you should be scriggling. A um, couple of close calls where she's actually taken body parts, haven't you, Cheer? Stolen body parts of poor little Bongo. No, <laughs> no, that's rejection, rejection. Work with me. It's been a funny month because every now and then she's actually stolen a couple of body parts away. So look, she's sulking. I can't believe you're sulking. I can't believe it. Okay, so here, oh, and that is Mr. T mowing the lawn right by my studio window. No. Okay, and he's smiling and waving, excuse me a minute, and I'm just going to kill him. Back in a minute.